Well, hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. As always, my name's Taylor Quayle. We are here at Padata RV Center, and today we're looking at quite a beauty of a fifth wheel. This thing is slick. This is a 2019 Grand Design Solitude 373 FB. This is a quad slide, full body paint, bath and a half fifth wheel. God, it's incredible. It does have the optional gen set over there. Um, the rear bath is really something something to be desired so we're going to give a good look full interior exterior walk go through all the any imperfections all the great aspects of it and just try to give you a, you know as good of a look at this thing as as possible so let's start with that four corners now you guys obviously saw the dual awnings here this awning is connected to the slide um, i don't have them all the way out it was picking up a little bit of wind and they were whipping so i don't want them ripping off but i want to at least have them both out a little bit so you can see them those other two slides here on the driver's side so we just took this solitude in and it's such a nice fifth wheel i wanted to get a video as soon as possible i have also haven't uploaded for about a week uh because we haven't had in inventory so i'm here to do this quick that all being said this thing has not been detailed yet it's still pretty clean but there's a couple appliances that need a good cleaning but you know we can all look over that let's check out some of these exterior connections we're going to start right here what do we got a uh, tank flush valve 12 gallon water heater which is a nice standard feature for this solid 2373 hydraulic jacks not electronic because of the size like i said don't mind a little bit of the dirt looks like the previous owner built this little custom kind of little cabinet there help help them with some storage Oh, fancy. All right. You got one propane tank on this side. You do have one more on the other side. Now, it's hard to see, but 16,800 pounds, fully loaded, 2980 of cargo carrying capacity. And then this was an option, this 5,500 LP generator. And I think it's got a little bit less than 400 hours on it. This full body paint is beautiful on here. I don't think I see any clear coat issues. You see a little awning tape on there. Maybe had a little gouge, but other side of that propane, and then the other side of that massive storage area. This guy had to be a fisher. I see a couple lures in here, and then you do have your central back system, and I like that because you can actually clean out the bay too, which is nice. Little quick connect, a couple one tens. And then, oh, you know, I didn't show you tires. Let's take a peek at these, get date code on them. 3417, so they're coming up on, coming up on five years old. So they have, they have not been replaced. They are originals, I would assume, late 2017. Dual pane, seamless windows, and there is, of course, a ladder, so you know what I gotta do. Let's jump up there. Let's look at this hitch really quick. Oh, goody, no numbers, there it is. 3,000 pound hitch right there. All right, I'll meet you guys on the roof. Yep, looks like an RV roof right there. Looks actually really good. Once again, double AC, you can't see way up there. It does have a solar panel and a, I mean, of course, satellite. Yeah, good looking roof. All right, and then continuing on here, there's no other connections or anything. Looks like you do have some scratches up at the top rail of this coach. Probably hit a tree. Make sure these tires are the same. They do look like it. Ooh, spotted webs on that one. This fender's got a little crack in it. Happens all the time on those little plastic pieces. All right, and that is the exterior. Say it's about time to jump on inside. All right, as you can see, both of our awnings are in. Got that nice solid step up there, four steps in. You're greeted initially with the half bath. And this is what you see right when you walk in. Beautiful. Let me go stand back here and look forward. I can see all the way back there, you got that main bathroom. We'll get there. All right, so right when you walk into the right, you have your main control panel behind the middle door. Breaker box, slide controls, generator. I'm sorry, I said almost 400. 825 hours on that gen set. 
and then slide controls awning controls and then just a little bit of storage now you'll see a couple little pieces of framing i still need to reattach a couple small imperfections like i said we just took it in still needs to be cleaned coat rack right when you walk in a little hall tree and then your slide goes from this corner all the way down to there does have your table and chairs in there and then your theater seating now these are electric we'll go in and out it uh, looks like they did had a have a small animal in here prior because you do have a, a couple little scratches on the edge of this here couch in the rear you have a three cushion couch with a whole bunch of cabinetry up above about to hit these lights now if you're tall you might be able to take advantage of this i'm five nine i ain't very tall but i can still access some of it now across we have another slide all the way down to right there past the fridge has your televator in here and then of course your fireplace now this fireplace can't just be for ambiance or it can be for actually pumping out heat it's pretty interesting how it works and how it looks but it's cool all right now this is your main kitchen area you can see there's just an absolutely huge island in the middle with your dual base sink right side is a lot smaller than left and you do have nice solid surface countertop covers for both residential style faucet and then as you can see a couple drawers there and then three drawers here with a nice big deep one right there and on the other side you do have your microwave your oven here i look at the look at the furion burner set it looks so cool it's got that nice center big one got that at home with a griddle and i love it show you a couple of these drawers and that is a convection microwave too which is nice you don't usually get that when you have the uh, actual oven and then of course your full pantry there and then your standard Norcol refrigerator and freezer did it I can't remember no ice maker let's make sure no ice maker all right now just to the right of us is that half bath just enough area for you to maneuver around in with your legs and lots of storage too for I mean for a half bath for what it is under the stairs there's some shoe storage right there and then you do have your central vac system we do have a separator right here if you want to give yourself a little bit of a master suite, you can. It is magnetic. AC control and max air controls right there. Now it's gonna look a little weird in here with the slide because there's no mattress. I know, we will be replacing the mattress. Unless you wanna put your own mattress in here, which I don't blame you. It's not really easy to lift up without a bed on there. <laughs> Lots of storage under there. Ooh, really hard to put down too. On the side, you do have some plug-ins, USB and power. Same concept on the right side. AC unit directly in this room. This is a two AC unit if I didn't mention it. And then of course your TV and some storage right in front. You're probably wondering where the closet is. Well, this thing does have a full closet in it. I didn't see this storage, I'm gonna look at it. And the rear bath, which one of the nicer bathrooms I've ever seen. And this, yes, this is a slide for the bathroom for your dual vanity. I'm slapping today, I'm missing lights left and right. Look how much counter space there is. And then you got a little bit of storage under, but a couple drawers in between the middle too, which is nice. And then right behind the vanity is your toilet and your shower. Plenty of room in front of the toilet. Shower has a little seat in it, a couple little shelves, plenty of headroom. And then a little bit of storage here. Nice little baby pull out. No pull out down below, but a little bit of storage, you know. And then the best part, your full stack washer dryer by Splendid. And then all this wardrobe storage and cabinetry. Absolutely beautiful. I love this. So that's it guys. I know it was quick and easy. 2019 Grand Design Solitude 373 FB. Now let's see if I got enough power. I'll put these slides and give you guys an, an idea of how it looks while you're traveling. Well, unfortunately I used a little bit too much battery power with all those lights on, on a 110 connection. So I got the gen running to keep it charged up, but unfortunately I won't be able to show you with the slides in anytime soon. I'll have to wait till it's charged up. 
that all being said i will put a link to this unit down in the description box down below you'll have all my contact info there too if you want to come see this thing in person like i said it's in at padata rv center in tucson arizona i really appreciate you guys viewing i hope you guys have a great day